Hi guys, it's Gabby. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make sedatura. If you don't know what this is, it's basically a Portuguese dessert dish and it's basically a layer of cream, crushed cookies, cream and crushed cookies. And then the top is just drizzled with some more crushed cookies. I put it into three separate containers because it made a good amount. So if you guys have never tried this before, I definitely recommend this recipe because it's amazing. It's not perfect, but I've made this so many times where I just know what to do and it just tastes amazing because it's just the layers are there um but yeah so if you guys want to know how to make this recipe then just keep on watching all the ingredients will be linked down below am i just in the bio the ingredients how much you'll need and the preparation for it no baking whatsoever just four ingredients that's it and some couple containers and you're good to go but yeah so let's get into this video first of all if you know you know if you don't know well now you know and you have to know because it is an amazing portuguese dessert you guys have seen by the thumbnail if you've seen the little clip for this intro it's amazing it's basically like cream and crushed cookies cream and crushed cookies it's a layer it's absolutely amazing it literally only requires i'm pretty sure three ingredients um but yeah super easy to make it's an amazing dessert i personally think that my mom makes it the best and i make it the best only because we make it really thick and i don't like some people make it differently and they make it like really watery and that i don't like i like it thick i don't want no water because then it reminds me of like flong and i hate flong um flan flong i don't know um, but yeah, so if you want to know how to make it, if you're bored, I really suggest doing it. I'm sure you have all the ingredients in your kitchen. Also ignore that. That's my cap for my milkshake from Chick-fil-A. Um, but yeah, let's get into the city. I have all my ingredients here so you know everything that you need. Also, it would all be in the description box, how to make it, all the ingredients and the preparation. So look in the description box for that. But you're going to need a big bowl, um, a mixer, a measuring cup or whatever a teaspoon you're gonna need maria cookies vanilla extract condensed milk and heavy cream as well as a crusher to crush the cookies or you can just put them in a ziploc bag and crush them yourself step number one is you're gonna want to grab your maria cookies and your little blender here to crush them up or like i said you could just take a ziploc bag and crush them yourself that's what i would normally do but when i make this i just don't feel like doing that so i'm gonna use this so just opening it up there we go i'm gonna do just a few at a time that looks about right. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do um, pulse. Oh, is it even plugged in? Hold on. There we go. First up, you're just gonna take it and pour it out. Oops. The first step is done. So here I have two packs of Maria cookies all grinded up. For the second part of to make the cream, you're gonna need heavy cream, condensed milk, and vanilla extract. Now, first things first, I have two right here because this one's about to run out. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna need four cups of this. So I have my measuring cup right here. I'm gonna pour the rest into four cups. Perfect, Alrighty. Now I have four cups of heavy cream. So I'm gonna pour this into my big bowl here. Next, we're gonna take half a teaspoon. We're gonna need two of these. So I'm gonna take my vanilla. We're gonna do one and then once you have your heavy cream and your vanilla extract into your bowl, just mix it up until you get kind of a thicker consistency. Once you have that down, we can add in the last and final ingredient. Once it's kind of fluffy, you're going to add the condensed milk in little by little as you're still whisking it. As you can see, my mom and I are slowly adding the one can of condensed milk inside of our heavy cream and vanilla extract mixture. You're going to want to spend a good amount of time whisking this up. It might take like up to 10 minutes because we want to make it really, really thick. Those three liquids should end up looking like a really thick whipped cream and that is what's going to make the perfect base for our sedadura. So remember, patience is key. Trust me. As you guys can see, you're gonna wanna keep whisking it until it gets kind of like a whip of really thick whipped cream. So you're literally gonna go from liquids and those three ingredients, the condensed milk, the heavy cream, and the vanilla extract will make it into a really thick 
um, width. Just make sure you get all around it, speed it up. Finished whipping up the cream and now we have our crumbs here and now I'm gonna layer it. Cream goes first, then the crumbs, then cream again, and then crumbs again, and then just keep doing that over and over again until you reach the top. And that's it you guys, that's how you make the cream and the crush cookies and then just layer it. It's simple, easy, and also keep in mind however much you add is how thick you're going to get it. So just add a generous amount of cookies so that way you taste it. And that's it, I just kept doing that over and over again. This has to be stored in the refrigerator. It cannot be left out. I mean, it can, but stored in the refrigerator so it's cold and stays, you know, in the position. And we're done. So once again, you're just gonna wanna layer the cream, the cookie crumbs, the cream, the cookie crumbs. Doesn't look perfect, but it's the basics. And then once you cut a nice slice, it'll be amazing to eat. Just coat the top with some crumbs. I like a lot of crumbs, so I just kind of coat it. This one's not that much because it's pretty thick on the bottom. But yeah, you guys, so that is how you make sedatura. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Only four ingredients. The recipe will be in the description box for all the ingredients that you're going to need, how much, and precise preparation. But I'm pretty sure it's pretty explanatory in this video. It's really easy to make. Only took me about an hour, not even. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!